Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Pokemon Leaf Green. Immediately, I want to apologize for the last two episodes because the audio quality was kind of poopy. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, I didn't realize that it was that bad until I had edited the videos already. And um, yeah, I, I'm sorry. I, I fixed the problem. I know it was wrong. It was from me messing with uh, some settings a few days ago. Um, but everything should be back to normal. Things should sound good. Um, anyways, today we're continuing where we left off last time. We're still exploring um, Islands 1, 2, and 3. More specifically, Island 3. Uh, we're looking for Lestelle. And we just broke up these biker gangs on 3 Island. And we're looking for Lestelle because she's supposed to be in the very forest. Uh, which is off the beaten path. <laughs> it's like the only place you can go on Three Island. So let's look at the map real quick. Yeah, so we were here. Uh, we need to go across Bond Bridge, and then we'll go inside of the Berry Forest. That's kind of what we're doing right now. There is a couple trainers here. I think I'm going to fight them now, so let me cut this out. <laughs> you guys, I just realized <laughs> Gulliver's already level 40. That's pretty crazy, because like we just got him. He was level 5 when we found him. Or not found him, but you know. Got him out of the amber. That's pretty crazy to me. I think that's impressive. Anyways, there's a lot of pretty strong Pokemon over here. They're all in like their late 30s. Or at least that Pidgeot was. This Pidgey's 32. <laughs> not that strong, but still pretty strong. Uh, I gotta fight this chick. Where are you off to in such a hurry? I'm looking for Lestelle. Alright, she is done. She said we're raising some wonderful Pokemon, and I gotta say, this is a pretty interesting team. Definitely full of Pokemon I've never really used before, like um, Aerodactyls, Jolteons, and Hitmonchains. That's pretty crazy. I mean, I've used Golbats and Clefairies and Blastoises before, but like, not in a long time. <laughs> not in a very long time. Uh, I'll come back and fight that kid later. Uh, along with that kid, and possibly this chick. I believe- oh, okay, I guess I'm fighting her now. <laughs> the salty tang of the sea. It tickles my heart. There we go. Not too bad. Uh, Alright, here we are. I think we're at the entrance. Very forced ahead. Ooh. Ooh, these are fancy trees. I forgot what this place looked like. Alright, so... Welcome to the berry forest. Be friendly and share berries with others and Pokemon. Will do. Will do. Um... Yeah, so Berry Forest is kind of special because, as you guys know, these dark patches of grass, uh, which there's one right here and then one to the left of me uh, through those trees, uh, these dark spots usually mean that there's items on the ground. And super special awesome, in the Berry Forest, these items happen to be um, berries. Because, I mean, that's the whole point of the forest. Now, I know that some of the tiles, like that one up there, uh, they actually don't have berries, and I think what's supposed to happen is, uh, as you play on your Game Boy and everything, uh, each Game Boy cartridge has, like, uh, an internal clock and everything, like a battery and stuff. Um, every day, there'll be different berries that spawn, so what you're supposed to do is, like, you're able to come back here, pick up some berries, you know, wait the next day, come back again, pick up more berries, um, things like that can happen. So that's why not all of these are going to have berries. Most of them will. I'm going to check them all because I don't I don't know off the top of my head which ones are going to have berries and which ones aren't. Um, there's a lot of other Pokemon games that use that feature uh, of the Game Boy cartridge with, you know, the battery and stuff. Uh, oh, cool. Um, like in Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald, uh, sometimes uh, special visitors will come into your game and uh, what will they do? They'll do uh, they'll mix berries with you over at the Pokemon contest area. Something pretty cool. Ah, uh, let's ancient power this Pidgeotto into its death. Ha <laughs> Alright. Let's see. There's no sign of, like, any trainers. I thought we'd be fighting a lot of people. And there's an item over there, too. I think I can cut. Do I? No, I don't. <laughs> Thought I had cut. Also, I'm kind of thinking I should spray a repel down. Should probably do that really quick. Uh, the encounters, they're not like, uh, you know, slowing us down or anything, but I don't know. I feel like we'll get through this a little better. Let's use that repel. 
We should be good for a little bit. I'm kind of thinking about teaching somebody cut really quick, but I'm also thinking that might be kind of a waste. Uh-huh, nothing there. A lot of these are empty. I thought a lot of them would be more full. Or fuller. A nana berry. Wonderful. <laughs> Okay, nothing here. I'm pretty sure there's something across this water. They wouldn't just put water here for no reason. Oh, something I need. Oh my god, look at all those trees. That's annoying. I'm gonna have to come back here later. <laughs> Might not even be worth it. We'll, we'll, I'll let you guys know. Uh, oh, cool. Pokemon Cry. Oh, it's a stealth. Oh, and a berry. <laughs> Berry's more important. Uh, oh, please help. A scary Pokemon appeared there a little while ago. It kept scaring. Er, it kept scaring? Yeah, okay. <laughs> it made Lestelle scared. Why is she talking in third person? That's so annoying. I'm too scared to move, but I want to go home. Oh, here it comes again. No, go away. It's scaring me. I want my daddy. Uh-oh. Hypno! <laughs> the creepy Pokemon. As you guys might know, I really don't like Drowsies, and I don't like Hypnos. And if you read Hypnos Pokedex, it actually says some pretty creepy things on the Pokemon games. Um, I'm gonna try to catch this guy so we can read it. Uh, yeah, he should be low enough. Uh, let's just chuck some Ultra Balls. I want to kind of get this done. Oh, there we go! Hypno was caught and we saved Lestelle. Anyways, let's read the Pokedex entry. When it locks eyes with an enemy, it will use a mix of PSI moves such as Hypnosis and Confusion. Okay guys, so this Pokedex entry is obviously the boring one. Um, I just looked online really quick because it's actually pretty interesting. There's a lot of creepy posts, but there's- er, creepy Dex entries. But there's one in particular that I wanted to show you guys that I thought was in this game, but it's actually in Fire Red. Um, anyway, some of the dex entries say, um, when it is very hungry, it puts humans it meets into sleep, then it feasts on their dreams. So, Hypno is going to go around and, like, try to, you know, hypnotize people. That's what it does. Uh, a lot of the dex entries say, you know, uh, hypnotizes people. Uh, the longer it waves its pendulum back and forth, uh, the longer you'll be under its, its hip uh, hypnosis. <laughs> Sorry, I can't talk. Um... But there's one from Fire Red that says it carries a pendulum-like device. There was once an incident which it took away a child it hypnotized. Yeah, so hypnos are kind of like the creepy Pokemon. <laughs> That's why I don't like them. They hypnotize children and take them away. <laughs> yeah, kind of creepy for Pokemon, right? Oh, that was scary. Thank you. Lestelle came to pick some berries. You can have this. The Ayapapa Berry. What's your name? Lestelle's scared. Lestelle's scared, so can I go with you to my daddy's house? Okay, let's go home. And we're back at Two Island, even though we were at Three Island. So you rescued Lestelle? How can I thank you? Lestelle, darling, forgive me. Daddy didn't know you were scared and in trouble. It's okay, Daddy. I gotta be friends with Red. That's it? Oh, what's that? You're saying that this is for me? How did you know that I love rare rocks and gems? You sure know how to make a guy happy. And we finally complete the task that Bill gave us. <laughs> oh, I see. This is from Bill. You have to thank him for me, you know? We've been fantastic. Or you've been fantastic. I want you to have this. And we get the Moonstone. Not worth it. Alright, I'll get the game corner running right away. You have to come visit with a friend. Listen, listen. Please show me you being cool again. Very interesting little side quest. Anyways, I'm gonna go heal up and fight those trainers that were at Three Island again, and I'll meet you guys back over at One Island because we need to go talk to Bill. Alrighty guys, so I went and fought those last couple trainers. I grabbed the last items that were in the forest that we missed. Um, they were just a couple vitamins and a max elixir. Nothing too crazy, but we're back in One Island. Looks like Bill and Celio moved. <laughs> oh hey Red. What kept you so long? Been out having a good time? We got it done. The PCs are up and running. The job went incredibly quick. Bill is one amazing guy. No, no, there was almost nothing left for me to do. Celio, I have to hand it to you. You learned a lot. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it. I'm finished with the job. We should head back to Kanto. Celio, I'll be seeing you again. Red, I'm really sorry that we sent you off alone today. 
I promise I will show you around these islands sometime. Doubt it. <laughs> hey, wasn't that a long cruise? My buddy Celio seemed to enjoy your company. I'm sure he'd welcome you if you were to visit him again. If you have a tri-pass, you can always take a ferry there from Vermilion Port. Alright, thank you for your company. And he's gone. I have no idea where he went, but Bill's gone. <laughs> well, that's it, guys. Uh, that is all that we get to do over at 1, 2, and 3 Island. And like Bill said, we can always head back there whenever we want. Um, super cool. Very nice. Um, but the last thing that we really need to do in Kanto, besides go get our last gym badge, kind of crazy already, um, is go to the Seafoam Islands. Now, we can swim to the right of Cinnabar Island, where we are now, but I think what we want to do is swim south of Fuchsia City. Go do that. Yeah. Alrighty, there we go. <laughs> Let's go ahead and head down here. I already fought a lot of these trainers, I believe. So, I should be good. I'm going to go ahead and spray down some repels because if you don't, if you can't tell already, Seafoam Island is going to be another dungeon. Um, actually, I'll be right back. I think I need to have Rock Smash and Strength. So, yeah, let me go grab those real quick. <laughs> All right, we're heading back down. <laughs> uh, I grabbed Snorlax because I forgot I taught him Rock Smash. So, I mean, just carry him around. And, or I didn't teach Snorlax Rock Smash. I taught him Strength. Jackie knows Rock Smash. There we go. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> so let's go over here. Now, you can see right now, only this entrance is accessible. That one is accessible if we go the other way. But I'm pretty sure we want to go in this one. Or spooky cave music. Also, I love this place. It looks so cool. <laughs> I need to spray some more repels. Hopefully this, uh, you know, this 17 I have lasts us. Uh, ice heal? Oh, is there ice type Pokemon here? I kind of forget, honestly. I mean, it looks cold and stuff like that, but, you know, it, it could be like any type of Pokemon in here, I swear. <laughs> um, now, I don't remember this place at all, so please bear with me as we explore a little bit. Um, but I don't think exploring's too bad. And also, I'm not seeing many trainers here. I'm seeing these holes. Which I know what we're supposed to do with these, but I definitely went the wrong way. Oh, wow. This just, like, auto-put me in a new... Or on my Pokemon. Danger! Fast current! Yes, I saw that. <laughs> um, oh, that's where we need to go, actually. That's kind of crazy. Let's go grab this Pokeball. Ultra Ball! We'll be using these. <laughs> uh, let me read the sign real quick. Boulders might change the flow of water. Okay, so we'll need the we'll need to do this uh, puzzle again later. Oh, we actually can't go up there. You can see there's something pretty crazy up there, but we actually need to complete the puzzle first. And like it said, we need to move those boulders into the correct spots, like into the holes, so they'll fall down like we did, and then they're gonna change the current for us. So. Oh, let's do that. First, let me try to get to where the boulders are. Down here? Nope, but there's items. I love items. I revive! <laughs> it's over here. Uh, I, I feel like we'd want to go as high as we can. Okay, okay. Uh, here's... Here's one. Okay, and now... Aha! It's just what we wanted. <laughs> May not seem like it, but it, it's what we wanted. There's also a really small chance, or a very big chance, that I need to leave this cave and go in the other way and finish the puzzle. Like, I can't do everything from this side. The way, like, I got in the Seafoam Island here. Which I'm okay with. Okay, let's fall down with it. Okay, yep. Uh, gotta talk to it again. Kind of annoying, you gotta talk to the rocks every single time. But you guys get the idea, right? Like, this cave isn't too crazy. What I might end up doing is just, like, kind of finishing the puzzle. And then coming back to show you guys what's what. You know? Um, but let me... Yeah. So, I need to get a second boulder there so it'll stop the current, I believe. Um, and then we'll be able to surf 
See, I need to get a boulder next to that one so it'll stop the current and we can progress. So, yeah, let me try to navigate through this place. I'll be back. I'm going to keep recording just in case something happens, but I'll be right back. <laughs> Oh, that was it. These are the two that I wanted to stop. I think if I want to stop the other side, I got to go in through the other entrance. But this is pretty much it, guys. Just bring one more last repel. By the way, you can catch seals here. Uh, they're an ice type Pokemon. Very cool. There it is. I'm going to save the game. Oops, that's not saving the game. <laughs> Just because I want to catch it for the Pokedex and everything, and I don't want to accidentally kill it. Alright guys, let's do this. Articuno! <laughs> Wild Articuno. One of the three legendary birds. We already caught um, Zapdos, but now it's time to get Articuno. I hope that doesn't kill it. Ooh, that was a little too close for comfort. Also, I might die right here. Oh, totally fine. <laughs> I was gonna put this guy, or paralyze this guy, to try to make him a little easier to catch. Jolteon? Jolteon still needs a nickname, guys. <laughs> now, I was actually gonna use Articuno on my team, but I kind of don't like using legendary Pokemon. Um, and I know Articuno, like the legendary birds, legendary dogs, the Regis, I know they don't really count as legendaries, like other Pokemon do, but I don't know. I, I thought it'd be a little too cheaty because the legendary Pokemon are actually very strong. Like Articuno's level 50, but it also has some pretty decent stats as well. So I think I thought it'd be a little too cheaty and too easy. Um, I paralyzed it, right? Yeah. Okay. So now it's just throwing Pokeballs. So that's why I didn't choose Articuno, and I went ahead with Gulliver. That's what I was debating. Um, but yeah, now we just gotta chuck all the balls in the world and try to catch this thing. <laughs> That was the longest it stayed in the ball. <laughs> Let's try a Pokeball. Maybe something different's gonna happen. Oh, didn't even didn't even bother staying in for a little bit. Sad day. Oh my god, that was so close. I got so excited. Damn it. Oh look, Jolteon's frozen. <laughs> that like never happened, so that's kind of cool, I guess. Are you serious? I was like half paying attention right now. I didn't even realize that I was throwing Pokeballs until I looked and I heard it like shake for three times. <sighs> A legendary bird Pokemon that is said to appear to doomed people who are lost in icy mountains. No, <laughs> that was pretty awful. <laughs> I need to go restock up on Pokeballs, but that is pretty cool, guys. We got a second legendary bird. The last one we got to get now is Moltres. Um, but yeah, that is going to be it for this episode. <laughs> Thank you guys very much for watching. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more. I'm Mr. Envelope, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye. Be patient, Blue. You would have one too. But I get to pick first because Oak hates his grandson. All right, over here we have a Bulbasaur. We have Squirtle, the water type Pokemon. And Charmander. You know, people coming, people coming. Uh, uh, I'm gonna have to. <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> ah, nope. Okay, another one. Another one's coming. Uh, oh, I hit the villager. Oh.